you know, I grew up in the military family. My father was an uh, officer in the Marine Corps and um, for 26 years. And every three years of my childhood, I moved every three years. And, you know, my friends today, they look at me and say, how could you ever even experience that? What was it like? And, you know, it was hard because you would arrive in the first year, you'd make new friends. By the second year, you had your group of friends. And by the third year, you're saying goodbye. Um, but I look back at that, and I can't imagine not having the opportunity to be in the military world. I, um, through kindergarten, through my senior year in high school, I was only in America for three years. So I had the opportunity to live and travel overseas, which I didn't know at the time I was going to be competing overseas a lot. But when I see a lot of my teammates come over to um, a foreign country, they have a hard time adjusting. And I, from day one of competition, have had the upper edge on coming over from America to Europe or South America or Asia. It doesn't matter where I go. I'm able to adjust to time zones. I'm able to adjust to the food. And so um, you never know what life brings you and why, but that was definitely one of the benefits. Um, you know, in traveling, graduating from Okinawa, Japan, Kubasaki, um, when we competed, we competed in mainland Japan. We actually used to go to Korea. We would go to the Philippines. We would go to Guam. And so we competed. That was our competition. We would get on a military plane, and we would um, basically hop over to another island and, and compete. So there's a lot of opportunities, um, though I think traditionally people would look at it as a hard lifestyle. To me, um, it's something that, yeah, I would definitely go back in time and, and, and do it over.